Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be make, taking a look at the ultimate ESC shopping list. And this this list consists of all the ESCs I've tested and what I consider to be some of the best ESCs out there. Now some of the best ESCs out there from the ones I have tested. Now there could be better ESCs out there, but it's not going to be my much. They're going to be in the same range of all the ESCs I'm about to show you. So I'll be showing you each ESC and its testing result and why how good it is and comparing it with the next level up in terms of price or and or class like for example you know you can't compare hack rc to dos aria or can you well you can in terms of noise but in overall specs things might differ like this could be rated up to 6s has higher mosfets can handle a lot more current passing through it plus it has a bunch more features current sensing led the other one had led also and current limiting and all these kinds of crazy cool things so let's get started first things first out of everything here, I've tested everything in real world testing and as well as bench testing. Except for the hack RC, I still have not done any real world testing. I was planning on building it yesterday, but I just didn't get to. I just built the fly color X tower. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the results here for these. Uh, let's check out their noise testing results. Testing setup. All right. So the hack RC, how did the hack RC do? So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now, this is the throttle noise uh, level test, which is... This is 10% throttle noise, 25% throttle noise, 50%, 75%, and 100% throttle noise. So this is the throttle levels. 10, 25, 50, 75, and 100%. And let's go ahead and bring up simulated aggressive flight maneuver noise. And there it is. So this is for the hack RC. Now, if you look at this alone, you might say, okay, well, I, I don't understand. How good is that? Well, let's pick up just one that didn't do so well. It was okay, but it's that's just didn't do so well. So this is something you don't want to see. This is an ESC called the Solo Good ESC. These are the kind of things you really do not want to see in ESC. And there, there's things that are a lot worse than this. But you see, you want the lines to be close together as much as possible, thus allowing the voltage to be as clean as possible. Because what, what this means here is that the voltage, the voltage is supposed to be one flat line, which is like just for example five volt. But this thing is going between what? Let's just see, twenty nine point two volts and 4.4 volts that, that's how you're getting the, the power to the overall system inside your quad from the flight controller to the vtx to the camera to the receiver so all this is going through all that thing all, everything on the on the quadcopter in there so that's the kind of thing you really don't want to see basically that's what i'm trying to say and we take a look at the throttle noise ah it's not good and this is not supposed to happen these little dips in there that that was something weird with the esc that i just couldn't understand and i didn't really dig far into it but these little hiccups are not supposed to happen. As you can tell, they were still continuing through this. So this ESC was a big no-no anyways. Uh, but this is the kind of things you don't want to see. Now let's move up the scale. So we have the Hack RC here. The next one would be the Fly Color. Now the Fly Color is 38 bucks at the current moment of time for four of them, which is a really good deal. And let's go ahead and pick up the Fly Color test results here. Where is it? There it is. Okay. So here we go. Here's the Fly Color. This is the throttle noise and here is the simulated aggressive flight maneuver noise so overall it is a lot better it has almost everything buffed out and you kind of see the internals of what's really going on here maybe we can get a different picture here to kind of simulate it so this is the colored version of this one as you can tell the voltage was really really was was doing pretty pretty good here but these were a little bit weird these little hiccups here but um that overall doesn't really affect much it was absolutely phenomenal here so if we could take a look at the bottom we could take a look at the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers um it did slightly better than the hack rc as you can tell it's very obvious that the lines are much smaller and we're getting less voltage spikes and less voltage drops and that's what we want to see so in terms of budget escs these two are phenomenal and let's jump to another one now this one is considered a budget esc now but back then it wasn't this was a premium esc or considered somewhat premium of an esc it's a spedex is 30 amp and if we compare it here if you take a look at these three here uh this is a very good result just like these two absolutely phenomenal now let's go ahead and take a look at its flight the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers now there's something a little bit different with the spedex is 30 you'd expect it to be slightly better than the other two because it used to be expensive and then it went cheap but the, the reason, first of all, the reason why it went cheap is because everyone transitioned or wants to transition from BL Heli S to BL Heli 32. And that's why they dropped its price and they just want to sell them. 
And it's still a very good budget ESC, actually. But the only problem that I see with the, the SpedEx is it has a lot more voltage drops. I've noticed that in more than one test. The voltage drop gets down pretty pretty low sometimes. Uh, 5.2 volts. But this is so minute, like, I mean, so quick that you really don't notice it. But it's still, a, it's a pretty dramatic drop, I would say. Um, these little three drops right here, so... Uh, that's that's really scary that's about 10 volts because each square here is five volts so it's yeah uh, that's the only issue with it but it shouldn't make big problems these are very good ESCs a lot of people would swear by them I have them set up I've done the real world testing they, they performed very well but um, we're gonna do a little bit more testing because uh, I really want to see if I can kind of simulate this or make it a little bit more aggressive in real life and see what it will affect uh, and it should be pretty interesting so those three are really good ESCs. I'd still out of these three, I would personally recommend the fly color. That's what I would go for. Um, but you could pick any of those that work just fine. So that's for those budget ESCs, which is the fly color here, 38 bucks. And it comes with these pads and some zip ties and some heat shrink and stuff. So it's really nice. And the SpedEx i30 is $10.90, but it's currently out of stock. But personally, again, I'd recommend you pick up some of these fly color ones are really good. Really, really nice. So the next on our list is going to be the DYS Aria and the Tico 32 ESCs. DYS Aria used to be one of the best ESCs back then, and then the Tico 32 came in and just wiped its just kicked, just kicked its ass really. So let's get an idea of how much of an ass kicking did the Tico 32 do here. Basically, the Tico 32 still outdoes everything I've ever tested. It's and then and, and it will be very difficult for an ESC to outdo it. It'll just basically match it. So uh, you're still getting, you know, even if something else comes out better, it's not going to be better by much and it's not even going to be noticeable anyways. So this is still by far the one of the best EAC. So here's a Tico 32 throttle noise level. I mean, do you see the dramatic difference? It looks like it's just all like on 10% throttle. So here's 10% throttle, 25, 50%, 75 and 100% throttle. And let's bring up the noise, the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers. This is this is what you really, really want to see on a noise test. Like this is this is almost a perfect result here. That's the nice. Uh, that's a really nice test. So let's get up. Let's pick up the DYS Aria here. And there we go. And the, these DYS Aria I've tested are the latest version. I did have older ones, but I went ahead and got more to see if anything has changed. And uh, this is the testing result. So these are still very good result this would be considered one of the sec in the top three escs i'm pretty sure there's one that's going to be between these two i don't know which one just yet but we'll find it but even then these are still very good escs but you might say okay well you know the fly color did almost as good as the dys aria why would i go get a dys aria when it's even like 15 bucks or no five dollars more or six dollars more expensive per esc well the dys aria could possibly handle more current um and it has a lot more features but if this thing just comes down to your personal preference plus this is a bl heli 32 and the flight color is a bl heli s esc so this will have more features and you can add you know like the game of thrones songs and all these kinds of things so overall there's still all of them are good you pick any of them you're, you're gonna have an absolute amazing time uh less not so much of a headache because that's what you really want you don't want a headache from the beginning because you still don't know anything and then all of a sudden you have all these problems and you don't know where the hell to start all right so those two are pretty good i mean there's a little bit of a price difference there's a four dollar price difference between the tico 32 and the dys aria <clears throat> and they both have the same uh features basically led current sensor um everything so these two are basically equal both of them rated three to six s however i've never tested success i think i tested success on the aria worked fine but I'm not, i don't think i've tested success on the tico 32 so yeah both of those are good you can get whatever you want and um yeah they're really nice so for one escs i did have another one but that one didn't make it on the list because i've never done the 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 bench testing because i didn't have it when i had that esc it was the racer star tattoo 35 amp four in one esc you might say, why the hell were you going to add it on this list if you never even tested it? Well, the way I tested it back then was I stuck it with the old Maytag uh, F40501 flight controller, which has the sensitive gyro, and um, it didn't have any twitches. And that, for me, was just an amazing moment. So I knew that ESC was good, but then I decided to remove it because I didn't want people to complain. But I'll leave a link down below if you're curious to see. Plus, it's not really much of a difference. It's like $6 difference between the Tico 32, so you might as well just go grab Tico 32 um, ESC. So let's go ahead and check the results for these two guys. 
Now, these two guys are basically a DYS Aria in a way. Let's go ahead and check out the Dollar C engine. We're going to go ahead and pick up the throttle noise. So, this is the throttle noise for the Dollar C engine. And this is the noise for the, the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers for the Dollar C also engine ESC. There's two more coming out very soon. They should be out as I know, but I don't know what happened with them. I'm, I'll talk to Dollar C and see what's up with that. Because they said they were going to send me one, so. I know there's two models that are going to be released. I think a 45 amp and a 60 amp version, both rated up to a 6S. So, yeah, everyone's going with the trend now. So, here's the results between the Dollar RC, which is on the left, and the Tico 32 4 and one ESC. Now, these two are very good ESC, but I'm, I'm, I was very surprised to notice that the Tico 32 is actually cheaper than the Dollar RC, which is pretty um, interesting, really. Now, let's talk about these. Now, both of them have their ups and downs. One, Tico 32 is, well, the capacitor rate has changed. There used to be a problem where the capacitors were right next to the nylon standoffs when you're spinning it. You'll just hit it, you'll, you, you, the, the nylon standoff will pop one of the caps off, which was, uh, which happened to a lot of people actually. And, but now they've changed the way that the, the array is set up on the, on the Form 1 ESC. Uh, so in the V2s, you're good to go with the copper tape also. So in, in, in theory, or in reality, the Tico 32 is better. As you can tell here so it runs a lot cleaner it sounds a lot smoother and um, it's just overall better and it's even cheaper dollar C engine is a little bit more expensive it performs a little bit less than the Tico 32 4 one ESC but it's still a good 4 one ESC this is still the second best ESC so um, I'm not saying it's crap but I'm saying when you compare it to these two this one the Tico 32 will win in terms of bench testing now I've done both of them I've done real-world testing on absolutely phenomenal no issues and uh, as soon as I hit an issue, I'll immediately re report back. But I've just been having a blast with them. And this is why I could keep recommending them. So, yeah. So, overall, these two are still one of the best 4 one ESCs. I'm sure there's going to be better. There might be better. But not by much. I mean, the better is it couldn't be by much. Because better than any of these ESCs, I mean, they'll be in the same class range as these ESCs that I just showed you today. Uh, there's nothing that's going to outdo the Tico 32. There's things that'll be on the same level as the Tico 32. So this has its own level. There's things that'll outdo the DYS Aria, but those jump to the Tico 32 level. And the Spedix and the Fly Color, uh, they're still the best budget ESCs. Uh, I don't think there's a $10 ESC that's going to perform like a Tico 32 anytime soon. I highly doubt it, unless I make it or something. But... <laughs> But yeah, I, I highly doubt it at the current moment in time. But there's still these are still the best budget ESCs, and you got this top of the line ESCs. There could be better in the same class, but I haven't tested them just yet, and I'm trying to get as much in as as, as possible. So yeah, they're 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 basically out of stock again. So yeah, if you need some, I got some in my shop for cheap. So yeah, take that as a note. <laughs> and well that's it guys i really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys have any questions or any suggestions feel free to let me know and please consider joining my patreon just a dollar two a month will go an absolute long way in keeping the channel running and uh, you could also use the links down below those greatly support the channel you don't even have to purchase anything just click the link before you make a purchase of anything and uh that'll really go for the channel it'll, it'll really support the channel and well that's it guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you next time see you guys take care